Yo, what's good, y'all? So, Trill, and I'm about to go and show y'all how you can share files from one galaxy to another. And guess what? It's fast and it's seamless. So, I'm about to go and share this video right here and check out Fast Ascend. So, it's in it right now. And look at that. It's already out here. That literally took no time at all. All right, so first off, I want to say real quick that this is nowhere near new. Like, this has been out for a while now. You can literally do this on your Galaxy Tab S or newer, Galaxy S4 or newer, or Galaxy Note 3 or newer. So yeah, this has been out for a very long time now. But here's some things you should know. So first off, this actually uses Wi-Fi Direct, so that's the fastest way that I know you can share files wirelessly. It doesn't use a Wi-Fi connection, but it puts a Wi-Fi connection between your devices. It shares the files through there and then it turns it off eventually, so that will go away, it won't drain your battery. The second thing you need to know is their phone needs to be unlocked and they need to accept the file before you can actually just send it. And the last thing is, it's not going to go fast if you don't have your Wi-Fi on. So even if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, just make sure your Wi-Fi is on. And the reason I'm really doing this video is because I heard Android is supposed to get an alternative to this and AirDrop. And we had this for so long now. Like, this isn't nothing new. So I don't know what took them so long, but it's just a Galaxy to Galaxy thing. So your Galaxy S10 can't send it to your Google Pixel 3a. You obviously can't send it to an iPhone. And you can't even send it to a Windows phone. Rest in peace. And yeah, so the last thing I want to put out there is you want to make sure your phone is all the way updated. So go to your settings, scroll down, and then look somewhere for the updates on here. So on here, I'll just go and click on about device and then click on software updates, but it just might show in the menu right here. But on here, I know this Galaxy S4 has the Android 4.4.2 and it doesn't have this feature, but when I updated this to Lollipop, it had the feature on here. So anyways, what you want to do is, on your newer Galaxy anyways, go ahead and swipe down to the notifications and then swipe down again. Look for phone visibility and go ahead and turn that on there. If you don't see that, what you can go ahead and do is tap on these three dots up here and then tap on button order. And if you see it up here, just drag it to somewhere down here. If you still don't see it, go over to the settings, go over to connections, and then go over to phone visibility or tablet visibility. And then just make sure it's turned on on there. So okay, so when you're done with that, make sure that your friend has it on, their family member, and then that's pretty much it. So okay, look for the file that you want to share. It doesn't really matter if it's a picture or a video or some document or something. Tap on the share button here and then go and click on send to device. Tap on that and then just go and look for that device and then just go and tap on it, have them accept it, and that's it. Remember though that their phone needs to be unlocked when you do this. If you have an older Galaxy, go and tap on share again and then go and look for a transfer file to device at the bottom here. And then there you go. So it's pretty much the same process. And this is the last method here and the oldest method. But this is going to be a little bit different. And this is the last method here but the oldest method for the oldest devices. But what you want to go and do is go over to the notifications and tap on quick connect here. And if you have something here like this Galaxy S5 that doesn't have that option. What you want to go and do is click on these three squares here with the arrows on here. And then you'll find quick connect. And then what you want to do from here is go and click on more. Set device visibility and then go and turn that on here. And if you want to you can even click on privacy and set it to one of these. And they actually got rid of this option on the newer phones here, so I don't understand why y'all got rid of this, but y'all better put it back before I get mad, because that was actually useful. But it's pretty much the same thing, again, for these phones too. But go and click on the share button there, look for quick connect here, and then you'll find your devices here. So yeah guys, that's how you do it on your Galaxy S10, or your Galaxy S5, or your Galaxy Tab S. It doesn't really matter. I don't see anybody having a phone older than the Galaxy S4 anyway these days, so I don't really think it matters. They changed the way it works a lot in these updates, but hopefully they're done now. But yeah, y'all, that was pretty much it, so thanks for watching. If it helped y'all out, go and hit that like button, it's gonna help me. And it'll help it get recommended to others so people can learn about this stuff. And go and subscribe if you really liked it, but yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.